Stonewall Jackson. How are you doing on Mindful Monday? It is so good to see you, Mr. Sizemore with CIS, and I have the wonderful Miss Boswell, your school counselor. And we are coming to you from Support, Support Uni News. News. Awesome. So, Miss Boswell. Sizemore. Good to see you. You too. I miss everybody. Yes. And guys, I hope that you worked really hard last week um, on our remote week back to school, and we'll know tonight kind of how things are going with what the future holds for Stonewall Jackson and Bristol Virginia Public Schools as far as in-person school goes. Yeah, and whether it's in-person or virtual, it is so important that you are doing your work and working hard. Yes, so. absolutely. And guys, as always, we are available to help you with any of that. You can message us through Schoology on Teams or call the school. Someone is usually here. Send us emails. Um, and your teachers are always available for that support too. So guys, please, please, please work hard while you're at home. And if you need help, we are all here to help you. Remember, it is a team effort. And we are all in this together. So Absolutely. we're here for you. We are here for you. Excellent. So, Mindful Monday. It's Mindful Monday, guys. So and we have some fun things lined up for today, actually. All right. Awesome. Am I doing the tree today? or? We're not doing the tree today. Okay. So, as usual on Mindful Monday, you like that tree, don't you, Mr. Sizemore? Well, the tree was easy. <laughs> it was, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm being honest. I'm afraid of what you're going to throw at me today. <laughs> no. It's not so hard today, guys. Um, but as always, we usually have a yoga pose. And then we have a mindful practice and a mindful thought for the day. So, our mindful, or our yoga pose, rather, is the surf pose. And I'm going to kind of zoom in there to where you can see it. See, Mr. Sizemore? Okay, it's not so that. hard. Surf pose works on strengthening the legs and the arms and opening up that hip area. Um, it really works on strength and focus. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take a wide straddle and turn our whichever leg you pull out there um, straight out that knee over the toe and then we're going to straighten those arms out hold for three to five breaths do you feel like you're surfing mr Sons? i do feel like i'm surfing and you've got to aim to be strong and steady hold that tummy in tight take good deep breaths excellent guys good job all right See, Mr. Sosmore, that, that was good. awesome. That was Very good. good. And that's one that we can practice throughout the day and sometimes even working on that shape when we are in person and in school helps us remember how to keep our distance and walk in line. Very good. That's, that's excellent. Yes, excellent. So today's mindful activity is called the bell game. Okay, so I'm going to lay this down for just a second. And we are going to actually use bells today. These are some of my favorite bells, Mr. Sizemore. So <clears throat> what we're going to do is it's a special kind of listening game. So I'm going to ring the bells like so. And you're going to listen until you don't hear the sound of the bell anymore. And when you don't hear it anymore, you're going to raise your hand. And you will see that the people hear at different speeds of sound and different times. So it kind of helps you to focus on sound today and what's going on around you. So, as always, you can keep your eyes open or closed, whichever works best for you. I'll ring the bell, and when you don't hear it anymore, that's when you lift your hand. Okay. Are we ready? Awesome, guys. So that is just a mindful practice okay. to help us be aware of the sound around us. And Mr. Sizemore, do you mind sharing our mindfulness activity card? It's on self-awareness today. That's working on me. So close your eyes and... Think about what you could do today to be encouraging to others. Where might you be? What would you be doing? Try to visualize yourself in that place. Excellent. So guys, since we are home today, what can we do to be encouraging from our homes? Maybe when we're on Teams meetings or with our families or our neighbors, what can we do? Well, if we have brothers or sisters, we could encourage them. Mom or dad, we could help them, you know, yeah. just little things like that that could be helpful. Absolutely. And if you are an older sibling, you maybe could help your younger sibling 
if maybe with teams or work or something. Perfect. And if you're on a teams meeting and you see your friend getting frustrated or mm -hmm. not understanding, you can offer them a word of encouragement through the teams. Yes. Excellent. Guys, we love you. We hope that you have an awesome Monday and we will see you real soon. Bye, Bye. guys.